Part 6, The Teacher Till thy mind reaches the stage of intuitive development, follow what is assured thee by teachers, books and the logical instruments of knowledge. When thus is burned out all latent desire, and the thing is realized, thou shouldst not hesitate to give up all concern even with these, however good or useful they be. Yoga Vashitha, by my book is meant all that is written by way of explaining the facts of nature, by great souls free from likes and dislikes, with eyes trained to observation and reason. Those resolute souls who are full of the highest goodness, who are equal to all, and who are possessed of a tact peculiar to themselves, are the really wise. Yoga Vashitha, I, thus informed, am yet only versed in the words of the mantras, the sacred hymns, I know nothing of self. I have heard from sages of your stamp that the knower of self rises above all sorrow. With all my learning, I am full of discontent and sorrow, O Lord. Take me to the other side of this ocean of misery. Kand Ajapanishad. This real self should be explained by the father to his eldest son, or by the teacher to a properly sympathetic pupil, and to no one else. Kand Ajapanishad. O Rama. The cause of self-realization is none other than the pupil's own intelligence. Yoga Vasishta One course leads to success in one birth or many, by gradual practice after the manner pointed out by the teacher the other leads soon to real spiritual consciousness through the self, aided even by intellectual development, even like the fall of the fruit from above. Yoga Vasishta Having supported self by self, of one's own accord, through reflection, one should carry the stair his own mind across the ocean of delusion, this world. Yoga Vasishta Tell me what thou sayest as other than religion and non-religion, other than these effects or their causes, other than that which is past and that which is yet to come. Kathapanishad, Asanika, the rich householder, approached Antrasa in due formality, and asked O Lord, Teach me that whose knowledge leads to the knowledge of all that is. Mundakapanishad, the ultimate aim of all the Vedas the final result of all austerity, the object of keeping the period of studentship, I describe to thee in brief, it is the syllable OM, this is the symbol of the immutable self this is the highest essence, it becomes whatever he desires to him who knows this, the ever unchangeable, this, indeed, is the highest support, the greatest help, by taking himself to this he becomes glorified in that Kathapanishad. the knower of the self retains to the supreme hence it is said the self is being consciousness limitlessness he who realizes this present in the intellect as well as in the highest akaza has access to the fruition of all desire whatever at one sweep being one with all seeing self Tatirapanishad. this cosmos is also law ceremonial all austerities the highest immortal self he who realizes this in the cavity of the heart easily scatters into nothing o oh good one the knot of illusion even in this life mundakapanishad the wise knowing through the practice of subjective concentration the all effulgent one extremely difficult to see concealed deep beyond everything shining through all acts in every heart inaccessible and without beginning they transcend all pleasure and all pain Kathapanishad, he who sees himself in all and all in himself attains to the empire of self thus worshiping self and looking on all things with equal eye manu knowing the great all-pervading self through whom is experienced the whole of dream and waking the wise never become subject to sorrow. Kathapanishad, as surely as water showered on a table and seeks the lower ground, so indeed does one seeing variety in the attributes of personality, become attached to them in future. As water poured upon a clear even surface stands ever pure and undefiled, so stands the self of the silent knower. Kathapanishad, this body is the city, with nine gates, wherein dwells the unborn, unfailing consciousness. He who knows this well never comes to grief, and is liberated twice over. Kathapanishad. These rivers flowing to and gaining the ocean lose themselves in it, lose even their name and form, and become included in the name ocean. So do all the sixteen forms of the objective flowing to and gaining the self become lost in him. They lose even their name and form, and become included in the self. This self is the immortal, transcending all forms of the mortal. This is thus summed up, that death may not overpower thee, know the only knowable, the self, in whom are centered all forms like the radii of a chariot wheel in its hub. Prasnapanishad, know that one self alone with which are bound sky, earth, atmosphere, mind, 
and all the vital breaths. Leave aside all other speech, this alone is the bridge over the gulf of this world to immortality. Mundakapanishad, the Brahmins disown him who knows other than self as a Brahman. The Kshatriyas disown him who knows other than self as a Kshatriya. The people disown him who knows other than self as the people. The gods disown him who knows other than self as a god. The spirits disown him who knows other than self as a spirit. Everything disowns that which knows other than self as the thing. The Brahmins, the Kshatriyas, the people, the gods, the spirits, everything is self. Brahadaranya Kapanishad, that self which is beyond sin, decay, death, sorrow which requires no food nor drink which is all accomplished desire, all fulfilled thought should be looked for, should be inquired after. He gains access to all worlds, has all his desires fulfilled, who, having known the self, realizes it fully in himself and all. Kand Ajapanishad, said Yajnavalka to the Emperor Janaka, the same has been explained by the Vedas as well, this, indeed, is the eternal glory of him who has realized the Absolute. It neither grows nor is diminished by doing, or not doing, any act. The knower knows this very truth. Knowing this, he is not affected by any karma whatever all being as sin to him. The heat of his senses cools down into that calmness of mind which follows on absence of desire all kind of latent attachment leaves him no conditions disturb him ecstasy environs him, who knowing thus sees self in self, sees the all as self. No good or evil touches him he transcends all good and all evil. The fulfillment or non-fulfillment of any secular or temporal act affects him not he having reduced them all to nothing, he is beyond all form beyond all desire beyond all doubt. This is the real spiritual consciousness, this is the real condition of spirit. Brahadaranya Kapanishad, I know the self to be the all, the great self, all effulgence, transcending all darkness. Knowing this, one can transcend even death there surely is no other road out of this world. Asvatas Vidaripanishad, like and dislike do not cease to affect him who yet relates himself to the body these never touch him who has disembodied himself, mentally. Kand Ajapanishad, as oil is found in sesame seeds as ghee is found in curds as water is found in water courses or as fire is found in the air and wood. So is the self seen in self by him who tries to realize it through universal love and perfect control over mind and body. Asvatas Vidaripanishad, Brahmins and others desirous of knowing it, know it by the study of the Vedas by sacrifice, by ascetic practices unaccompanied with desire knowing it they become the silent ones. Brahadaranya Kapanishad, having explained the Vedas to his pupil, the teacher thus enjoins him, Tell the truth go by religious forms never disregard thy proper study and having satisfied thy teacher do not put an end to thy line. Taitiripanishad. Three are the stays of religion, sacrifice, study, and charity. Kand Ajapanishad. He who knows it the immutable spirit thus and he who does not know it thus both perform karma by it. Wisdom and ignorance admit of innumerable varieties that alone which is done with knowledge, faith, and complete surrender becomes powerful for good. Kand Ajapanishad, even like the radii fixed in the hub of a chariot wheel, is he, the Eternal One, pervading everything, and appearing as many, after the forms of the intellect. Meditate on this thyself as the syllable Om. May you be ever happy in the realization of that which transcends all darkness. Mundakapanishad, seeing the whole universe subject to the law of causation. The Brahmins understands that there is nothing other than the self which is the causeless uncreate, and finding no use in acting up to the ideals of the world feels supreme contempt for everything. He then repairs, with holy grass in hand, to the teacher, well versed in sacred lore and full of the realization of spirit, to inquire after the eternal. The knower explains to him, who with mind free from all egoism, and with the senses turned within, repairs to him, thus questioning that inner doctrine which reveals the eternal self, the highest truth. Mundakapanishad, the chief help to self-realization is, however, that reflection which comes of one's own effort, and the rest, including the teacher's grace, and so forth, are but subordinate means to the end. Attend, therefore, carefully to the principal means. Yoga Vasishta